The 2021 NBA draft class was full of studs. You had the three-headed monster of Scotty Barnes, Evan Mobley, and Cade Cunningham competing for Rookie of the Year. Franz Wagner came out of nowhere and had an incredible rookie season. Jalen Green struggled early but found his stride after the All-Star break. And do you know what all these players have in common? They made the all-rookie first team, meaning Josh Giddy of the Oklahoma City Thunder was snubbed. Today, let's discuss Josh Giddy's underrated and overlooked rookie season. Josh Giddy was selected with the 6th overall pick in the 2021 NBA Draft, and to be honest, my first reaction was why. Before the draft, all these different experts and scouts give us a scouting report of all the different prospects, such as measurements, strengths, weaknesses, etc. And I kid you not, people saw so many flaws in Josh Giddy's game, to the point where memes started floating around that his weakness was basketball. What do you mean, breathe, breathe? Don't tell me to breathe. I can't be, yo, bring me a shot. Bring me a shot. And after seeing all this negative Josh Giddy assessment, I took a narrative and ran with it. I overlooked the fact that he's a 6'8 point guard with elite playmaking and vision, and gave into a false narrative without watching film. No, Josh Giddy is not in my lottery. I am not very high on him as a prospect. Let's just say I watch my film now. Anyways, people probably weren't as judgmental as I was with this pick, however it was still viewed as a reach. So when this dude came out and dropped 19 points, 8 rebounds, and 7 assists to go along with 4 steals in his third game with OKC, yeah, he started to turn some heads. But this was only the beginning of a special rookie season. As Giddy went on to become the youngest player in NBA history to record a triple-double, putting up 17 points, 13 boards, and 14 assists on January 2nd versus the Dallas Mavericks. That was one of four triple-doubles Giddy would record during his rookie season, all of which broke LaMelo Ball's initial record for youngest player to record a triple-double, meaning Josh Giddy holds positions 1 through 4 on the youngest player to ever record a triple-double list. Giddy also broke broke a 61 year old record on February 16th versus the Spurs when he recorded his third consecutive triple double, making him the first rookie to do so since Oscar Robertson did during the 1960-61 season. But Thunder fans are pretty used to triple doubles, I mean they had the triple double king on their team for 11 seasons after all. So what made Giddies so special? Well, how about the fact that he broke Westbrook's double double and triple double records by a Thunder rookie? recording 16 double-doubles to Westbrook's 10, and 4 triple-doubles to Russ's 1. Giddy would unfortunately suffer a hip injury on February 25th that would sideline him for the remainder of the season though, but despite Giddy's shortened season, he was still surely a lock for all-rookie first team, right? Wrong. Jalen Green completely turned around his season after the All-Star break and snagged the last guard position. Green went from averaging an incredibly inefficient 14.5 points per game before the All-Star break to a scary efficient 22 points per game after the break. And to be honest, I can't disagree with Green making the first team over Giddy, because not only did he turn his season around, but he was available for 13 more games than Giddy was, and availability is a big factor in receiving honors like this. It's the reason Joel Embiid came in third for Rookie of the Year voting in 2017, despite the fact his numbers and overall impact severely outweighed both Malcolm Brogdon and Dario Saric, but he still came in third because he only played 31 games compared to these two who played 75 plus games. So green over Giddy is fair, however I did find something even more controversial in the voting, and it's the fact that Herb Jones received more first team votes than Josh Giddy did. I get that Herb played in 78 games and was easily the best defender amongst rookies and even on his own team, but come on now, more first team votes than Josh Giddy, a man who broke multiple records during his rookie season? I'm sorry, but I'm just not buying that. Giddy should have easily received more votes. After he got injured, I think fans and voters just started to forget about him but he's going to wake a lot of people up at the start of next season. OKC drafted Chet Holmgren second overall in 2022, and the chemistry between him and Giddy already seems great, as not only were they a good duo in the Salt Lake City Summer League, but they've been seen together in multiple offseason runs, and I expect their connection to be there from the jump next season. However, Giddy isn't perfect. 
He's not a great on-ball defender despite his frame. Luckily for him, he has a very high basketball IQ and is solid off the ball, but he's also relatively inefficient as he shot just 42% from the field and 26% from three during his rookie year. But again, Giddy is a very smart player who does work hard, and I have no doubt he'll improve in those respective areas. I actually think Giddy resembles Jason Kidd in a lot of ways. Both tall, pass-first point guards who will never be perennial 20-point-per-game scorers, but they see plays before they actually happen. And if you don't believe me, take a look at their rookie seasons. Very similar numbers across the board with the same flaws, inefficiency and defense. Kidd would eventually become very solid on the defensive end though as his career went on and it was because of his insanely high basketball iq even after his playing days kids defensive iq helped him land coaching jobs he's with the mavs now and since day one of coaching them he's preached defense uh, here in dallas we're going to play a little defense so from day one that's what we will preach um, and you'll see us out here playing hard but you're going to see us play defense and that we're going to trust one another his defensive intensity could even be heard during Game 7 of the West Semis against the Phoenix Suns, a game in which they won by 33 points. Stay home, go! Stay home, go! Chop, chop, five! Chop, five! Baseline! Chop, 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 chop! So I see a similar path for Josh Giddey's career as his flaws will only get better with time because he's too smart of a player to not improve in those areas. I mean when you have LeBron giving you credit, you know you're a special player. As LeBron saw right past Giddey's flaws because he's just so talented. He's really, really, really good. Um, he has a, a great pace about the game, great vision. Um, I've always loved uh, pass first guards who can see plays happen before they happen. You know, Josh is one of those kids who can definitely see the game um, a lot quicker than a lot of guys out on the floor. But that's gonna wrap things up for today. Let me know what you thought about Josh Giddey's rookie season down in the comment section below, but I hope you enjoyed. And with all that being said, peace.